Hey friends, good to see you again. It's been a little while. Uh, I thought we would talk about Saturn transiting through Capricorn. It's a very, very important transit that's um, occurring right now. So this one brings a bit of a reckoning because of what Saturn means. Uh, it brings a lot of structure and lasting changes, reorganization of governments and organizations of authority. Uh, the meaning of our work, government, and the laws, the, um, the restrictions that we live with are very, very uh, closely examined. Rules, regulations, propriety are something that come back into style when Saturn transits through Capricorn. And it's something that we, we learn to value again and seek to preserve. And the responsibility that really comes with success, holding a position of power or authority or uh, over others, over ourselves too, is very much highlighted. So, Again, importance that comes in identity, that comes from social status or position, material wealth, that's all very, very closely scrutinized. And people who have compromised themselves, their goals or their position are often very harshly disciplined under this particular transit. Saturn brings structure and form to our group ideas and goals. The ways in which we collectively redefine what right and wrong are, what our collective agreements are about morality, um, all else that Jupiter transiting through Scorpio is going to bring, Saturn will take that seed and really plant it so that it grows into something real. It takes some kind of form. That's the, the job of Saturn. So in our own lives, the house ruled by Capricorn will manifest something, materialize something, make something real, give form to the things that Saturn rules in your chart. Saturn's transiting the sign that it rules. This brings a purity to how he behaves. Oh, I hope that I wasn't muffled. If I was, I apologize for that. The house that Saturn rules the cusp of will bring forth some very tangible results. Look at how Saturn is aspected in your chart. How do you view Saturn? How do you respond to Saturn? You want to look at how Saturn is individually aspected so you can know what to expect. We always do that when we see any transiting planet. Look to see how it's natally aspected so you can see what the person's interpretation of that planet is. This will show you a great deal when it comes to determining how Saturn is going to show up for you. What will show up for you? What will change? What will solidify? We take a greater quality of responsibility when Saturn works on us. Saturn is actually what refines and helps us get what we want. Jupiter shows what collective influences, um, cultural influences have determined our definition of happiness, uh, our vision for our life, what our meaning for our life is, wh where do we want to derive that from? Saturn gives form and structure to our dreams and visions. It's the practical vehicle we use to implement that. This is why Saturn requires responsibility in order to get somewhere. We must adhere to some type of schedule or plan or expectation 
in order to make a dream happen. There, there is a building block component to that that Saturn is very much responsible for. And because Saturn rules responsibility, debts come due because it is time to pay the piper. What hasn't been earned, what isn't real, will dissipate as Saturn transits through Capricorn. If we have invested in our productive capacity, both individually and as a society, then we will see success. If we have invested or put our money in what is speculative or risky or wasteful, we will see an adjustment. Again, Saturn and Capricorn very much brings the buck stops here. It is the reckoning when it comes to needing to respond to things, pay things back. Being too concentrated in any one area of risk is not wise under this transit. We want to diversify our risk and accept slower but steadier growth. We expect to pay our fair share and trim some of the ornamentals from our lives with Saturn going through Capricorn much more wise to put the focus on providing securely uh, for our needs rather than speculatively for our wants. With Jupiter moving through Scorpio at this time as well, we've got to be mindful that um, a moral reckoning is afoot for those who seek to take advantage or are you know doing things behind the scenes um so saturn and capricorn is very focused on things coming due when it comes to you know excess and speculation risk think protection rather than speculation invest in the structures the staples and the bones of the economy, the things that you have to have. Capital can become much more expensive to borrow and the corporate bond market can become an issue because more than a trillion dollars in speculative grade credit comes due between 2018 and 2020 in the U.S. alone. Americans owe close to, I think it's 3.7, it's close to 4 trillion in outstanding consumer debt. An enormous amount of additional consumer debt has been created in the past eight years since the last market adjustment. And none of this has come from actual money, savings, nothing concrete this has got to be paid back. Creation of more debt is exactly what Saturn and Capricorn loves to put an end to. We must work for what we have with this energy. We must accept slower, steadier, truer, more real growth. Um, wealth that's based on actual tangible things. So um, between Jupiter coming through Scorpio and Saturn going through Capricorn and then Jupiter coming to join um, Saturn and Pluto in Capricorn coming up here in the 2020s. Uh, it's going to be a very interesting world restructuring. 
that we see going on, particularly in the United States, because it is the Pluto return, which basically means that we are in the midst of a major identity crisis where the U.S. doesn't know what it's about. We don't know what we stand for. We don't know what we believe in. We are, there's, there's a, a tearing that's occurring that is a necessary component of putting us in, in a position where we have to take stock of what we are, what do we have, what do we want to be going forward, what are our collective agreements. All of that has to come to a head. And of course, as humans, we don't make changes unless there's a certain amount of pain or discomfort that is the impetus to make that change. So there's a, a lot that these particular transits are leading up to and um, it is a very interesting time astrologically when it comes to that uh, convergence of um, outer planets there that uh, when those dudes get together we do tend to see some very fundamental um, endings and beginnings take place as a result of that. So I hope this was helpful. If, if, if it was, please subscribe to my channel. You can find me on the internet at Truth and Aspect Astrology and Facebook and Instagram at Truth and Aspect Astrology as well. Yes, I do private consultation. I'm mainly a relationship and intimacy astrologer, but I interpret all types of charts. And please find me on Patreon and support me over there. Thank you very much to those people who have supported me over there because it does put me in a position where I can spend more time with you here and less time in consultation. So it works well for the both of us. And I will be back super soon with more super cool videos.